You see, not talking only about COVID-19 during his first press briefing in weeks, he also answered questions about the recent election. ABC 15 Zach Crenshaw is live with more on that. Zach? Yes, Steve, since Election Day, Governor Ducey has been eerily quiet, especially in person. Today, he finally addressed the turmoil surrounding his state, his political party, and even right here in this parking lot, where one guy remains. Uh, we can trust our elections here in Arizona. But since President Trump lost Arizona this month, many of Governor Ducey's fellow Republicans have openly disagreed. So we have to make sure that every single vote that was legally cast was counted as the voter intended. Arizona's GOP chairwoman Kelly Ward acknowledging that Wednesday's Maricopa County tabulation accuracy test again showed 100% accuracy. And I will tell you that the ones we've done so far came out the same, so that's good. But there are several other questions that haven't been addressed. Most of the GOP's questions are just that, questions. Currently, no quarter election official has found credible evidence of widespread election fraud or failures. But legal challenges are still before a judge. Uh, once those are adjudicated uh, and the process plays out, I will accept the results of the election. The governor who campaigned for President Trump throughout the year never once referred to Joe Biden as president-elect. Vice President Biden has about a 10,300 vote advantage. Uh, that's about three-tenths of one percent. And there are legal challenges out there. The challenging extending outside the courtroom to parking lot protests, and more recently, to Secretary of State Katie Hobbs' home. We want an audit. She's also received death threats. We will do whatever it takes to protect Secretary Hobbs. DPS now having to provide increased security for the state's top elections official. And I denounce any threats of, of violence against anyone in elective office. Death threats are ne never a solution, so I don't know who you're trying to tie to that, but it's not the Republican Party of Arizona. Hobbs herself said she expected some threats, but ones involving her staff and family are, quote, utterly abhorrent. Every division of our office was being flooded with calls and not just people asking questions, but people being abusive and harassing. Nobody here signed up for that. Now, the lawsuit continued to play out in court this afternoon. Republicans want a random hand count audit. They say to check for any errors. Meanwhile, attorneys for the county officials want the lawsuit dismissed entirely. Tomorrow morning, the judge is expected to rule on that motion to dismiss. Live tonight, Zach Crenshaw, ABC 15, Arizona. Thank you, Zach.